We're going to do the song Take On Me by AHA, and we can use bucket drums. You can use uh, another type of container. If you have something you can hit your container with that you're allowed to use, you can use spoons or pencils or markers. Or if you haven't got anything, you can even do all of the beats just on your legs and using your hands to clap. But I'm going to use the bucket drum. So we have four places to hit the bucket. We have the lowest note, which is in the center. We have the side note, which is the next one up. There's the rim, and there's also the click. So the first beat that we have is ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. We're going to use the lowest note and the side. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. We're going to do that 12 times. And you can also count it using numbers. One, two, three, and four. 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 And if you want, if you're getting good at it, you could switch your starting hand. So that time I started with my left hand. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You could switch to starting with your right hand. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. ta. So we're going to do the whole beginning of the song, the introduction, and then the first verse with the same beat. So the introduction is kind of long. I'm just going to start once it gets going, and then the, once he starts singing, we're going to do the beat 12 times. Here we go. When we get to the chorus of the song, we're going to do a two measure beat or a rhythm, and this one sounds like this. Ta 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 ti ta ti ta 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 ti ta ti ta. Or you can use the word syncopa for the rhythm in the second half. Ta 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 syncopa ta 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 syncopa ta. And if you're using numbers, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, and, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and, and four. And I challenge you to try starting with one hand the first time. And it, once you get going, if you're feeling confident, you could try starting with the other hand. So you could start with your left hand first if you want. Ta, 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 and then try switching to your right hand. And it just happens that if you're doing alternating hands, you actually will switch hands every, every time you go through because of the number of notes. Watch what happens. I started with my left hand, and then by the time I got to the second one, I started with my right hand. One more challenge is, once you get good at it, you could add a flam at the beginning. A flam is when you hit both hands together, but one hits a bit early. Like that. So just the first note of the whole thing. So try that one with me. And if you can, do the flam at the beginning. We're going to do it eight times in the song. So let's try it eight times. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ta, 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 
Let's try it with the chorus. For the next two verses, we're going to do a longer rhythm, and we're going to use the side of the drum, the center of the drum, and the click. But if you want, you could do the edge of the drum instead of the side, then the center, then the click. So it sounds like this. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Or if you're counting, one and two and, and four, two, three. One and two and, and four, two, three. Let's try it on the drum. So I'm going to start on the side, and then I'm going to switch to the rim after the first two. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's try it with the music. For the second chorus, we're going to play a different rhythm. This one, we're going to use the center of the drum, and we're going to use a click. So the beat is ta, ta, e, t, 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 ta, 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 e, t, 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 ta. Try saying that with me. Ta, ta, e, t, 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 ta, 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 e, t, 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 t. Or if you're using numbers, one, three, and one, and two, and four. One, three, and one and two and four. So let's try it on the drum. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 e, t, 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 ta. So we're going to do that eight times in the song. Let's try it with the chorus. section is a transition where there's no singing. We're going to do a short little rhythm 12 times in a row. The rhythm is ti 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 ta ta ti 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 ta ta. We're going to use the side of the drum and the center or like I said before if you want to use the rim and the center you can do that as well. So let's try it together on the drum. Or you can do it on the rim. If you're doing the number counting instead, it would be one and two and three, four. 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 Let's try it with the transition. song, Take On Me by AHA. The form of the song starts with an introduction where we have our first rhythm. That rhythm continues into the first verse and we do it 12 times during the verse. Then we have the chorus rhythm which we play eight times. Then we go to the second verse and we're going to do the longer rhythm six times and the second chorus with a new rhythm for the second chorus. Then we have our little rhythm for the transition which we do 12 times. 
Then we get a little break for a while while the keyboard plays and we come back in with verse 3. During verse 3 we'll play the second verse rhythm. Then there's two choruses at the end of the song and we'll play the first chorus rhythm first and then we'll switch over to the second chorus rhythm for the second half. Here we go.